So you you signed up straight away to the the um, the new bachelor program. Uh, me, Gary. yes, uh, but 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 there was a problem with my credit cards. There sometimes is when I sort of try to buy things in Europe and uh, the US. There seems to be a blanket ban on on um, Indonesian credit cards. It's not blanket; it's patchy. It's funny. But anyway, but apart from the payment issue, uh, yes, I've, I've, I've already corresponded and yeah, so um, I've already registered. For, but, for uh, both parts? Both uh, semesters? Yes. Yeah. Because it, it, it read in the email as though, because he was offering the second half to people who'd already done his course, that the first half was going to be a sort of rehash of the of what we'd already done. So that's what I yes. reading between exactly. The so you're yes. going to do it again. So. Yes, but but I'm going to hear people sort of talk, different people talking differently ah. about the same things. So, uh, <laughs> no, Even no, Stephen no, talks I, differently no. about it now, doesn't he? Yeah. Steve, every oh, yes, time. Yeah. I mean, I must have heard it a lot of times now. And as he mm -hmm. he doesn't even notice uh, for sh for sure yeah. how his how his choice of words and and thinking changes over time because he is not standing still, is he? Mm. So yeah, all of them. Yes. Mm. So anyway, but, anyway that, that was my logic about, about uh, you know standing up for both. Um, so yeah, and it, it didn't look too onerous. So. Yeah. No, so there's just a, a Saturday morning, which would be all right for you. And then, but the, presumably the Wednesday evening would be no good. It's the wrong time. Well, you know, any times are going to be bad in one way or another. I mean, yeah. Maybe not just the morning one. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it really depends on where I'm going to be at that time, too, because I'm not, uh, I am looking to get out of um, Indonesia, things are getting a bit uh, wild in certain parts. And so I, I might, well, it's just not uh, one thing, but a, but a constellation of uh, things that are happening. So I may need to uh, um, seek refuge somewhere for a little while, while, while uh, the heat dies down. Oh, really? So I, I, may well, I may well be in Europe, uh, I may yeah. well be in, I could be in Australia or could be uh, basically I, I need to just um, uh, let the situation cool down and uh, let the opportunists sort of uh, beat their chests until they get tired and when they get tired I'll come back. So. Wow yeah. that's a big decision. Oh well yeah it's, uh, it is there are problems yes that uh, will emerge. Uh, but there will be problems to emerge if I do nothing. So I think um, I shall just take a discreet path and um, just try to mit mitigate all the, all the downsides. That's probably the best that can be done. Mm. So when you said, I want to run away from home, it wasn't just <laughs> a joke. I, 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 I rarely joke, you know that. <laughs> Well, sometimes you are surprisingly <laughs> um, concrete, yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. Mm. Oh, gosh. But you, plan, you, won't, you won't just dismantle everything. You plan on oh, no. Oh, no, just no. I, 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 sticking this out somewhere else. Yeah, it's just a matter, a matter of you know, uh, where I am and my visibility. Mm. Um, the problem with being a, a, a white Indonesian is that you, you you stick out like dogs' balls, as they say in Australia. So you know it uh, it, it means that you, you come under special attention. In in some parts, uh, this would be called racism, uh, but but here it's called um, I don't know. It, it's got it doesn't have a name. It's just that it's just what happens. So. Um, so while I'm not the center of attention, then their attention will go elsewhere. So now I, I'm basically, you know, I'm dealing with quite a number of very, um, well, 
tribal issues, you know, in some cases quite literally. And so, you know, it, talking rationally at this moment is probably not an option. So it's just a matter of letting them sort of, you know, burn out and then come back and start again. So mm. this, this is sometimes a sign, but yeah, it's just not one or two. There's actually a whole lot of things that are, that are happening, which is sort of, ha sort of making me think I'm going to have to retreat for a while. Uh, which is actually my intention anyway, but not in under these circumstances. But uh, you know, I had actually intended to to either be in Europe or, or elsewhere, you know, September. Um, but so it's just basically shifting that plan a little bit forward, I guess, uh, and trying to um, restructure things so that uh, there's not too much loss of continuity in the various areas is that too vague no no I, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if i got into the details it would it would just uh yeah it's really yeah this is actually one of the things i have difficulty with in communicating with people you know in europe or the us or australia there's just this massive amount of stuff that is just completely unrelatable uh, you know it's um uh, it, it is, you know, from another world, and uh, it, it's really very difficult to actually, you know, speak about that with, I guess, you know, people who aren't sort of sitting in the middle of it, looking both ways. So yeah, it's just curious, curious. Oh well, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, yeah finding where you want well, to be. I hope things work out. Mm. So oh, is that pretty, well. that's, that's soon, is it? It's soon that you've got it. That well, you, that depends on circumstances. Um, um, yeah, it depends. I, I've just got so many other things I've got to do before I can. Be. All right. I lost you. Yeah, you've disappeared. Can't hear you, Gary. Ooh. Gary, <laughs> Gary, we can't hear you. Sorry, can't stop. hear you. Stop, stop. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, we can't hear you. Stop. We lost you. Ah, you might, you might lost, have lost us too. <laughs> Say something <laughs> now. Oh dear. Uh, oh, oh my God, that is. Um... Oh, you there? Ah, I... ah you're back. Go off. Cool. Yeah, I keep people keep uh, uh, calling my telephone. Uh, so ah. it, it seems. To have, uh... but anyway, so you didn't hear any of that. So, <laughs> which are pro That's probably just well. as well. <laughs> 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 um, that sounds troubling to me. Mm. I wish you luck. And um, mm. there. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe it's a good idea. All these the, the, the pictures of these riots and demonstrations and maybe I mean we 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 move on like what what's going on in in France and stuff, isn't it? With a Muslim, uh, and then Gary sends a picture of of Muslims rioting against the French embassy or or anything Western because. Uh, the prophet was kind of offended. Um, that is a real thing. When you live in a Muslim country of hotheads. Uh, I'm back. It's, um... 
they come back anyway. Yeah, no one can hear you now. In fact, your sound quality is great this week. You don't. Mm -hmm. Here's this new microphone. From me? Yeah. Oh no, from 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 LP. No, no, from you. Sometimes from your oh, your your sound is a bit weird. But. Yeah, that that's uh, almost totally. No, it's the, the connections from uh. here. You have to go through quite quite a few different routes, and so you, you know it, it loses a lot of resolution. I would say, and, and, and it, you, know, you can hear from some of the recordings that were done that you know it's a very poor um, connection sometimes. But any, anyway, uh, uh, in in regard to the course, is anybody else intending to to go along? Well, I said to Elfie that I was just waiting to see what. What you two want to do, <laughs> we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I was sort of, perhaps less interested in revisiting the things we've already done, rather than, mm -hmm. than look at the potential futures that he's he's looking at. And I, but I was very, I was very interested in this idea of having um, uh, group tutorials or seminars or whatever um, with other people from both our cohort and the previous cohort and perhaps even the next cohort because that was one of the things I wanted to to do whenever it was last spring you know was meet people from the previous course mm -hmm. because I know some of those had stayed on and kept meeting after their course was ended and so i figured that they must have a sort of similar interest to to us in uh, seeing how things could develop uh so that i was going to do that i wasn't sure as i say really about the first part uh, but i hadn't really decided i didn't think there was going to be any desperate rush um if it's online it's not going to fill up so what what were your thoughts, Elfie? Um, well, I I, uh, I now feel very encouraged to do and to do both, because um, of my own, you know, I hear it differently every time. Um, I know that he will have you know, lots of his new thinking will come into the teaching of of the previous. It cannot be otherwise anyway. So that will be interesting to actually spot the differences or where he is absolutely solid and says it just the same again. But also the, the groups might form in that course rather, you know, so then it's, it, it's good for, I think, to be there from the beginning of the setting up of these discussion groups and stuff, because we all get a feel uh, for each other, well, there'd be many people but you get a bit of in in a mood again i think and um and on on more familiar ground and it's also it's in it's like gary says be interesting what other people make of that material and uh because the uh, i think the dispersion in our in in our group you know only 20 people and it was huge wasn't it how everyone understood it so differently and went with it into different directions and um what what, what people wanted to get out of it from no, i i found that always so absolutely um you know, and i i value every single view on it and every, every uh, resonance with the material so um yeah, I think that interests me a lot. And also it's it's probably just, you know, Bodhi College kind of needs to survive anyhow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm interested in that. Uh, they must be, they, in, in, like all those places, they might be in dire straits because they had, uh, have no income. Um, they need need people to come along and it's, and uh, it, he wants to teach. It's that same old thing again. If he wants to teach, I really seriously consider being a student. Yeah, because it's. 
I have not, you know, I haven't moved on, have I? I haven't found another teacher who now kind of um, um, fills that space. It's very, very, very hard for me. It's, it's, um, it's not easy to find something that would, that in this such a good platform. And then on that platform, the understanding, the discussions with you, that is just, when I look back, what an amazing outcome for me, very satisfying outcome. Um, so it's, it, um, yeah, I, 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 so I would say that I, I would go for both. Um, yeah. And then I see if I make everyone, because it's a Saturday and who knows where we are by then just like gary says mm -hmm. might sit on a yacht in christchurch by then <laughs> <laughs> well i might i might i might see what happens see i've um because we're still in the process of moving so we we may have moved mm. by then and i'll see and i yeah i think i'll wait I'm definitely interested in the second one, but um, and I, I'm not sure about the, the first one. Doing a, I think I think probably because I find I talk too much, and I, I would just want to say things, and uh, then I'd feel like I was repeating myself from what I said the first time around. I'm not very good at just sitting and listening. Mm. I think that format could be, you know, have some problems. Um, I mean, it's not as if, I don't know if you've done very many online courses um, you know, with Body College or with whoever, um, but obviously they, they move more slowly and you've often got a, a great various mix of people with different understandings um, or levels of understanding. <clears throat> So that they, I, I'm not sure that they'd be quite as satisfying as, you know, obviously a face-to-face. -face. Of course, there's also just the limitations of, a, of this format. Um, you know, where, you know, I would say that you know, three, four, five people is probably an optimal number uh, for, for most uh, online groups. Uh, anything bigger than that, it just becomes a bit of a bore. You know, you're just waiting around, uh, you know, maybe people have got something interesting to say, maybe they don't. Uh, whereas with, with smaller groups, I guess there is you know, more opportunity and more necessity to sort of speak and, and listen. Um, so yeah, I can sort of see some difficulties uh, with it, but, you know, uh, but nonetheless, it, it's, it's better than nothing. So, um, and, and I think see, it's a great opportunity to see how other people have um, taken their understanding of Dharma and you know, in which direction they've gone, whether they've sort of altered their worldviews or, or their, you know, their frameworks. Um, who knows? Um, th there seems to be already a, a, a bit of a defensive tendency amongst you know, people who are I guess, got an attachment to uh, Buddhism. Um, you know, th I think there's people who feel vulnerable about, about that. Uh, th 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 these, I guess, are people who see, a, see, see Buddhism as their, their top tier framework. Um, you know, so uh, even if they have a very, very secular outlook, it's very difficult for them to look outside that framework. And to try and you know integrate the, you know dharmic philosophy within a context of uh, um, human evolution. Um, so yeah, I, I just don't know. I mean, and I mean, I'm not sort of saying that they sh should do that or shouldn't do that. I mean, we all have to, I guess, choose our frameworks one way or another. Um, uh, but I'm just wondering how far you know, certain people have, who have attachments to Orientalist philosophies and religions, 
how far they are able to sort of move internally, personally, uh, to areas which might be rather threatening um, in some ways, maybe. No, I, I think you're right. I'm, I, you sort of assume that the nature of this, because of the title, would sort of preclude people who has too much invested in Buddhism itself. And if you're going to go for beyond Buddhism, then you're going to have you're going to have to have some sort of um, open-mindedness, presumably, rather like you know the with us the first time round. But it it sort of beggars a wider question of of that open-mindedness and how easy it is to be open-minded if you're not open-minded in the first place. If you're if, if you're if you don't have a predisposition to be open-minded, how could you ever move from anywhere? How would you become open-minded? Well, well, open. You you may well become you know more tolerant, even though you retain a, a rather limited framework through which you look at the world. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure tolerant of other people's views is the same as being open-minded, because open-minded means you're going to change your view, doesn't it? So, ah, uh, yes, but I don't think people, you know, some people don't like to do that, and, and no, they don't want to do that. No. But how do you become you, open-minded? Yeah. How how do you how do people become open-minded if they're not predisposed to be open-minded? I was just it only because it goes back to this, the you know, the, what's happening in America, which seems to sort of very highlight this that people have become very apparently very polarized. I'm not so convinced that this isn't a isn't a a news narrative about polarization because this because this political situation is set up to be polarized in that they only have two parties which sort of leads to a polarization and then you've got somebody who is a particularly polarizing influence in trump but i don't know whether there's any sort of evidence that that people are more polarized and if so why 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 are people less open-minded if in fact they are and how does that come about and equally how do you become more open-minded how do you become more um willing to change that's i was just sort of interested in a in a, in a sort of a general point of view i don't know what the answers are and i but it, it's 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 also the same for religion, isn't it? That you get people who, like you were saying before, who feel threatened by moving away from the security of Buddhism or whatever religion. And yet some people presumably do over time. And I just wondered what it is that makes it possible for that to happen. How is it you become more open-minded if you're not already open-minded? You must have come across this, um, Elfie, and, and the, some of the people you you were talking about it last week, about people who you felt were um, very clever, very intelligent. I'm not sure clever and intelligent are the same, synonymous, but the, and yet were not open-minded and were very close-minded. So have you come across people who have changed? I mean, who, who started off with a fixed, very fixed position and then have become less so and if so what what happened how does it happen is it really i mean i'm just sitting here and, and just contemplating your question because it's a good one you know how do, how do you do that and i would say for some people i mean who i've worked with and, and i'd see absolutely no progress on that way the only thing that i can always only appeal to is you know for some people that is my only strategy in a way is to appeal for kindness so that is that so this one has to this is not an intellectual thing open mindedness i think i don't think open mindedness maybe I was, i'm asking that question just at the moment you know if thinking of what my strategy would be if i meet people which is not unusual who are incredibly closed-minded 
and just know who the villains are and who the good ones are and in their very personal life. And uh, I mean, the mind boggles what I sometimes hear. And uh, I, I'm, so when you were talking, I just said, well, what is my stance to that? And actually how I meet it is with an appeal to kindness, not with an appeal to, oh, you know, other people think differently. Can you um, accept their views? Can you build up some tolerance? You got your, I, I don't tend to do that. And I think I don't do it because it's not very successful. So it is about a, a, a kind, an, an appeal to kindness. Let's stay, have a, a, a open-mindedness is a, is a basic, is it? Is it a basic kind and friendly orientation? Is it? Um, I wouldn't have said so. Well, you, it's, it's an interesting one. I don't think it has a, 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 a moral to it because most you know I would, I would think it's more sort of scientific really I mean I'm oh, yeah. I'm more I can see that that I'm, I'm, I'm my mind my, my open mind this mindedness is evidence-based and, and and it's sort of from from the scientific community you know if if you I, I suspect that there is no God if you could provide me with conclusive evidence I'd change my mind so it would surprise me but if the evidence was conclusive then I would change my position I would have to but that, that's got nothing to do with how kind I am right, you know, or, or not hmm. so I'm I'm and you said you say you think you do this because you think it's more successful than otherwise. So do you see this your approach as having success? Can you think of times where that, that has made somebody shift to a slightly more um, open-minded perspective? And I think the, the step would be um, f first to establish an emotional tolerance and then on that only on that basis can there be an open-mindedness but i might be mistaken because they are this is this changeover from tolerance to open-mindedness and I, I i think i i know what you mean when you say the difference one is intellectual one isn't just tolerating that you believe in a god i don't uh, but um you know a true open-mindedness would be an agnostic stance perhaps or so if I get the evidence, if I hear suddenly the clouds part and, and a booming voice coming down, I consider it. Um, I'd, on a, so because I work on such a personal level with people, it seems for me to, you know, they have maybe a closed mindedness about their family or someone in their family, someone in their friendship where they have an absolute where it just closes down completely. And the only way that I know that would ease that somewhat is establishing a human contact, which goes then via kindness into tolerance. And then I can actually for the first time even hear the other views. Because before it just so it doesn't seem to go in even, you know, it doesn't get processed. So first, and actually, that is something that I do, that I do, you know, what makes our first decision, if I even listen to something, is in the feeling world, not in the thinking world. I would, I would say that. Mm -hmm. So an open-mindedness might start with a tolerant feeling. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it's, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. We seem to have lost Rupert. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, you live in, uh, Gary, you live in a country you can't, you couldn't openly question Islam, I guess. I mean, you'd be, you'd be lynched, wouldn't it? 
for by the pictures you you sent you know how people were protesting against something that happened in bloody france you know oh, it it's it's scary oh yes yeah well, well you know the vast majority of indonesians you know i just don't like that but unfortunately they tolerate this very small minority who you know are basically off the planet so you know that that passivity basically encourages the growth of such uh, you know, fanatics. Mm. Is that actually why you? That's what you mean with it might be sh wise to leave oh, that's, the country. That's one of, like I said, there's a constellation of uh, different issues happening. Uh -huh. uh, you know, one of itself would. Uh, probably not be a, a concern. But when you get complexes of these things happening, then you know, even though individually they may not uh, become a threat, um, one or two or three of them together could be a problem. Hmm. And I mean, it's, it's very much politics here when it, when it comes to uh, you know, expressing opinions. Uh, yeah, I mean, just every single day here, there's just bizarre occurrences, you know, confrontation between what the law says and what and what the police will enforce. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's all basically based on politics and, and influence. So there's, there's really no rule of law to, to rely on uh, at all. So so that means that you know things get settled in unconventional ways, um, you know, which of course covers a, a multitude of different uh, methods. Um, but yeah, it, it it's uh, it can get rather complicated because you know you, you're dealing with all sorts of different levels of uh, of uh, understanding and and. Uh, of economic power or political power, it's it can and of course not not to mention you know linguistic and other you know cultural problems because um, you know this is a an archipelago of you know God knows how many different ethnic groups so and you know their significance the, the you know the ethnic ethnic groups of significant size so it just makes a, a very very complex a layer cake um, to, to try and deal with. So I just think it might be uh, prudent to just not be too visible in, in a, during a particular period and uh, just see what happens. Mm. Oh, you're back, Rupert. Hello, Rupert. Yay. Ah, uh, you're muted. <laughs> I'm not made to healthy disappear. Sorry, am I? Uh, no, that, what happened? Well, all I've got, I've just, Elfie's, is Elfie there on your screen? No. Well, uh, yes, but her video isn't. Yeah, I've just got you know, her name. Uh, my internet keeps going. I've, I've got some problems oh. at descent. So, sorry about that. Other problem. You were just mentioning how how good the connection was. Uh, good for you, well, I know the, I, I, the voice quality. The voice quality was very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I just I don't know. My internet supplier has uh, been having it's just been going on and off quite recently. So, but I'm not going to be here much longer. One hopes so. I have to move on. I moved to where? Uh, well, trying to. Uh, uh, it's my internet connection is unstable. It says. Yes, it is. It it uh, yes, breaking up. You're breaking up. <laughs> well, I, I better. I'm going to have to say goodbye. I think. Yeah. Okay. We'll give it a give it a miss and try again another day. Yeah.
Okay, right. Well, okay. good to see you. Uh, okay. Keep in mind that, uh, that uh, uh, emailing list, uh, I'd like to um, oh, yeah. see if we can send something. Okay, well, okay. so what that, the idea is to send that to all of the people on the old course? On, yeah, just, just, just on the old course and just basically a, a nicely formatted invitation to sort of ah. come and um, uh, come in and uh, have a look around at uh, our discussions. Now, it probably it doesn't actually matter too much whether you know, they do or they don't, uh, but to, just to make sure that people are, are aware that it, that it exists and that, you know, um, certain things have been discussed and who knows, they just might be interested in this particular uh, line of thoughts. Okay, right, I'll, I'll do that. I, Elfie, did I, I'm sorry, my internet is breaking up. Mm. It says, which is why I disappeared. Okay. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah, but you're back. I'm back at the moment. Yes. So, mm. but, and mm. Gary was just saying we were thinking of writing something about the discussions on YouTube and posting to the email group from the Secular Dharma course, our, our, our lot. To see if any of them are interested. Yeah, cool. I don't know. Is it? Well, it, it, yeah, it, it might also be interesting to say we something. You would have to ask Julie. Maybe we would only. Consider... Well, Julie's are all. Anyone that Julie's on is private, so yeah. you can't okay. see those anyway. Hmm. I think. Is that? I think I'd mark. Yeah, that's that's correct. Oh, they're all marked off. They're, they're all private. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. If that can be. Yeah. Actually, then, then, um, rather than going, well, that could be one thing. You can go back. But if that could be, because if there will be small discussion groups, and I think, you know, they can only be four or five people, because otherwise, I think it gets too. You know, our our reunion meetings for me were not so successful and I dropped out because it's a bit like what Rupert said. You know, I say things that I'm not happy about afterwards and it all goes wrong for me. And uh, it's also not specific enough. You know, it's, um, it's lovely to see any, everyone, but it, it, um, it works much better for me if there's a topic you know, if, if if it's about something rather than just how is you how is it going? Um, so smaller groups. So if if there were a possibility to for everyone to kind of uh, record their little group meetings and have them on a YouTube channel, how would that be to? to be able to watch other people's discussions in, you know, because there will be lots of little groups if there are lots of attendees. Because you might want point, to, yeah. you, know, you might, uh, you know, meet someone by accident in one little discussion group, never meet them again. Uh, but you might be really, uh, um, be very interested in what what they say a little more, and so you could kind of follow them around almost. You know, you might, uh, yeah. I think that could be a possibility. So are you thinking it, of this for the future course? Yeah. Mm, I think that's interesting. Yeah. I wonder if they Stevens thought about that. Um, um, I don't know because uh, I doubt that anyone else is uploading their, their you know it's not the next thought I think it's rather specific that we, and, you know, we got you and Gary who are very technically minded there and not everyone has that in their group I think it's rather particular that 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 turned up in our group that that is even an option that you have yeah, your yeah. youtube channel so i wouldn't count on it i think it's rather exceptional but if yeah 
if it said, you know, who were the participants, then you you might find another artist or so. You might really, really like have a, um, you know, you want to hear more of what they have to say when they come in with their artistic um, uh, viewpoint. I think that's, that's, a, that's a very good point. I mean, because presumably the teaching bits will be recorded. But it, you need consent from everybody if the tutorials are going to be recorded. Yeah. So may, not, may, maybe not everyone would be, you know, up for that. Mm. Yeah, that is a difficulty. Yeah, yes, because you don't want to restrict people. And some people might say, well, I don't want to be recorded, but I want to take part. So, yeah, sort of, yeah. It would have to be decided on every single... Yeah. Meeting. Or oh, well, maybe yeah. oh would there be new study groups that are a bit more kind of not permanent but but a bit more um you know repeated rather than always a totally new group which Yeah, is I think so there was he did say <laughs> on somewhere whether it was on the email or on the website there's something about study groups. And they they there are sort of size of groups, I'm presuming. Mm. Um, but then he was talking about these, these, he was calling them group tutorials, which is a sort of, I'm not sure about the terminology because I'm not sure how that, what that relates to in terms of what his thinking is. Well, it's quite possible that, that maybe he, he he can do with some suggestions as to how this might be structured. I, I can see, you know, problems. I and mean, certainly things have got to be broken down into very small groups for, for anything to be effective. Mm. Um, not always, but in general, because it's just the only way you can really work. But then the question is, how do you circulate people? Uh, it's good to have a group. But then how do you circulate that group within all the other groups so that uh, you know when you come back to your you know uh, your favored group you can then talk, you, you've basically had an experience of, uh, yeah. of, of um, at least some of the, the, the other groups um, um, around you uh, so yeah they said because we used to have the plenaries didn't we at the end of group sessions and when we were doing it on one the course as a online or uh, for live rather. Um. But, but the problem with that is that, you know, people have their special interests, you know, that there's, um, you know, I'm sure that there's hardly anybody, just for example, would, would uh, well, not hardly anybody, but only a, a, a small number of people might want to discuss uh, uh, you know, human evolutionary biology, for example. Um, a lot of people would, would perhaps not see that as relevant. Um, some people would, of course. And so, you know, and, and when you have a, a, another interest group that, which is so far removed in terms of its uh, of, of, of the basic way that it looks at the world, you know, moving over into a, a metaphysical or psychological space, some sort of constructed space that you know has no or has not very, not enough relationship to, to you know, some sort of scientific reality. Um, you have these, it's just very difficult to talk across those boundaries. Um, just, to, just, I mean, I'm just using that as an example of people having sort of you know, such widely different uh, frameworks or even, you know, mildly different um, and, and uh, not being able to find um, 
concordance at some point in any way. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, it really depends on, on the. I mean, the, the problem is with these courses that they, they attract both, you know, the the true secularists and also people who have come from from Buddhist or or New Age traditions. And so you've got these, you know, different ways of thinking about the world. You know, what one might be you know, considered to be very hard and and uh, and rational. You know, the other one it could be seen to be, you know, partly constructed and and perhaps uh, without a lot of foundation in in, um, in actual fact, but in belief uh, and and in and in shared histories. So you know, the, I, don't know I just I just find it. I mean, I guess that that's the the challenge of you know, a group which is based around um, Body College. Is that it, you know, it does bring in you know, a, a fairly wide range of people with uh, you know, who do view the world uh, quite differently, but it does have that element of, uh, I guess, that that Buddhist thread or that Buddhist New Age sort of thinking is 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 also very prevalent amongst people. Which I'm, I'm not suggesting that as anything um, ne neither good nor bad, but just a different way of looking at the world that. You know, is very difficult to, to to discourse across that that sort of divide. Yeah, maybe I'll let you two do the first course, and then you can tell me how, how well it goes. <laughs> I'll come in later when you've told me, when you've sorted out the problems. Mm. Yeah, but I see. I I know. It, yeah, I know what you're saying, and I it seemed to work okay when we were all together. You know live but yeah i it's much more difficult online yeah zoomy and also knowing when to speak on a zoom is tricky mm -hmm. you know because you really got to handle it more like a meeting haven't you with somebody in charge to say well yeah you know, put your hand up or when i was doing xr things they were you know the um extinction revolution meetings they were very difficult to to get any sense of uh, any collegiate um, sense. It was much more of you know I'm putting this information out, this information, but rather than a conversation. Hmm. I wonder if it you know we will be. Uh, <laughs> that's just an example. Sorry to speak over you, Gary. <laughs> but maybe <laughs> that's contra <laughs> I was just saying, maybe, you know, the people who have kept these small groups up have, a, have developed a certain meeting culture. And also, and, um, also a, a certain tolerance again, you know, a certain like, okay, um, uh, it doesn't always come out right. That's fine. I know that about myself, or you know that kind of basic well-meaning and assumption that the other one is, and um, arrange subtle arranging. And uh, maybe we didn't have that so much either when we started. It was um, in the, our meetings now. They seem to be very fluid to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think they were quite like that when we started years ago. God, it's years ago. Isn't it? <laughs> it's three years now, isn't it? How amazing. Mm. But you're right. Yes, I, I, it's, I mean, I think the, the reason this works so well is because there are only, a, you know, the few of us and, and, it, and there's a lot of shared interest and a lot of um, it's shared, but it's also diverse. And well, I'm very interested in what your opinions are about things, and because that makes me think about stuff. And I'm not sure that would be the case with everybody. You know, I would be if there were some more sort of fundamentalist Buddhist. I might find it quite frustrating. And I think, well, I can I can learn a little bit here, but 
there's no, it is quite limited. I don't, you know, f- talking to you two, I don't, there seems to be no limits. There's always interesting and new perspectives, but um, that's because it's you two. I'm not sure it's the case but elsewhere. Anyway, um, look, I'm gonna, I'm better go because I'm, I'm, mm. uh, my, my machine is having problems, and I've, I've got a something else to sort out. My move from Italy is a. a been affected by coronavirus so the, the we're supposed to be moving all the stuff out and putting it into storage and uh, uh, they've got some problems which i need to get back to and sort out oh. the person in italy who's p- packing all the stuff out anyway so <laughs> good so, luck I've got, with that <laughs> yes, I've got to sort that out. hopefully uh, by this weekend we'll have moved it all but um, hmm. anyway lovely to see you um, okay. I'm not sure, yes. Gary, there's much point in me posting t- this week's um, discussion. Yeah, because yeah. It's too many interruptions frag- and yeah, stuff. Fragmented. Yeah. But maybe fragmented, next week, yes. are we up to meeting yeah. next week? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. I'll, I'll look forward to that. Okay, okay. then. Well, bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. See you then. Good luck. See you. Bye. Yeah.